Are you up to the challenge this year? Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Hey, welcome back, guys. Field Day is right around the corner and is coming up this weekend. And I want to put out the Field Day Challenge again. I think this is the third year in a row that we've run this challenge. However, we are going to change it up just a little bitty bit this year. But we are going to be using WinLink position reports. So now, if you're not familiar with this, stick around. I'm going to walk through exactly how to do this. Uh, you can do this from Linux or Windows. So it doesn't matter which operating system you're running. But here's the idea of the challenge. So somewhere within the first hour or two, of field day, I want you guys to post a WinLink position report. In the comments, I want you to put ACKFD challenge. So at some point, five or six hours after you've posted that initial position report, I want you to pull a list of all nearby stations. After you've pulled that request down from the WinLink servers, take a look at it and figure out who's the closest operator to you that's also participating in the field day challenge. Now, don't pick somebody in your group. If there's two or three people in your group doing it. Pick the closest person outside of your group. But pick that closest person and just send them a quick WinLink message. Just let them know that you saw that they were participating in the field day challenge as well, and maybe let them know a little bit about your operation, how many operators you got, uh, what your location is, your section class, all of that information. Even if we don't get a reply, that's not a big deal. All I want to do is encourage the use of WinLink position reports. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to the computer, and let me show you exactly how to post one of these and then how to request those nearby stations. For the demonstration this morning, I'm running Linux Mint, I'm running Pat Menu, and Pat Winlink in the background. Again, you can do this exact same thing in Windows and Winlink Express if you use Winlink Express's built-in catalog. Uh, I'm going to come right down to the Pat catalog, though, right here on the screen. And then I'm going to come down to position reports. From the position reports, make sure that you've selected post position, which is the default when you come into this. And then right here under the comment section, we're just going to put ACK field day challenge. And that's all we need to do right there. Let's go ahead and click continue. And that will give you a message telling you that it's posted that position report to the WinLink Outbox. So if we go up to our Pat WinLink Outbox and take a look, you'll see that that position report has been sent. Now I'm not going to send this one today because I don't want to put that out there on the map before field day, but I will be posting one of these position reports early in the day on field day, pretty much as soon as field day kicks off. Now let's take a look at how we will request nearby stations. Back in Pat menu again, come back down to position reports, but this time instead of post a position, we're going to use the drop down and I'm going to choose all nearby stations. Once we click that, you don't put anything down here in these two boxes for this particular request. We just simply go ahead and click continue. Again, you're going to get that message telling you that it's posted to the outbox and we can indeed see that request right here in the outbox. So I'm going to go ahead and send this one. For the sake of time in this video, we'll just use Telnet to do this. We'll let it connect and send out that request. I'm going to give it about four or five minutes, maybe not quite that much time, and we will come back in and do another connection to the WinLink servers, which will deliver that request back to our inbox. Okay, so now that three or four minutes has passed here, let's go ahead and make another connection. Uh, again, I'm going to use Telnet just for the sake of time in this video. And you'll see that that nearby report got returned right to my inbox. If we take a look at that, 
you will see all of the call signs over here, the uh, distance in nautical miles that they are from you, and the direction uh, that they are from your station. Then out here to the right, you will be able to see their comment that they put in the comment section. So take a look at that, find the closest one outside of your group, and reach out to them via WinLink. Now, a couple of notes here. While I would prefer that you use RF for this challenge, if you want to use Telnet and that's all you've got, please go ahead and use Telnet. Just participate in the challenge. And then, why do I keep putting out this same challenge year after year? Well, it's primarily to get you guys familiar with WinLink position reports. It's a great tool to have available to us because this is something you can use with your local club or your local group even if you don't have a communications plan. Let's imagine that a hurricane has come through your area and taken out normal means of communications. If everybody in your group just goes out and posts one of these WinLink position reports and then in the comments section puts something like listening on 52 Simplex or listening on JSA Call or checking WinLink daily, something along those lines, you'll know how you can reach out to those operators in your immediate area. I hope you found today's information helpful. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.